Need a reverse osmosis drinking water system for your family? Not sure where to start? Looking for some advice from the pros? Relax, we've got you covered starting right now. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water for your family. Today, Anna's here from our customer service team, and she's gonna help me share with you what to look for when investing in a reverse osmosis drinking water system for your family. By the end of this video, you'll know what to look for and where to find it, and you'll definitely know what to avoid. So I'm here with Anna today. Welcome, Anna. Thank you. And Anna's uh, with our customer service department, and she helps a lot of you folks that email in with your specific questions about what do I need to fix my water. So I thought she's the perfect person to be involved today with this buyer's guide, and she's going to share with you her wisdom on uh, some of the things to look for when you're shopping for water filtration for your family. First of all, what does a reverse osmosis drinking water system actually do? It takes every impurity out of the water and you end up with pure water. It removes all chemicals, it removes dirt and debris from the water, bad minerals, and some of the good ones too, but they can be added back in. That's right. And what's the environmental impact? Well, the environmental impact is great because you're no longer using bottled water. So We're hearing more and more about the microplastics in water throughout the world now and things like that. So it all helps to get away from that. And by the way, if you're not sure about how a reverse osmosis drinking water system actually works, I've got a great YouTube video that explains it all. I'll put a link in the description down below. And what are some types of reverse osmosis systems that are out there? So there are standard uh, reverse osmosis systems and high efficiency. The main difference between the two is the amount of water that is wasted when you make the reverse osmosis water. When it removes the, all the impurities and all the unwanted things from the water and sends them to the drain, water goes with it as well. So basically there's water that's wasted to make water that you're then going to drink. So with the high efficiency ones, they waste less water. They Absolutely. waste half of the amount that the standard efficiency ones waste. So we love our high efficiency Water Saver 75, yeah. and that's definitely the one that, um, that we sell the most. This baby right here. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one. It has other advantages. It has a high flow to the faucet. Most reverse osmosis systems have the smaller quarter inch tubing yeah. right everywhere. So these ones have the larger 3 8 inch tubing that goes from the tank to the last filter to the faucet. Yeah. And that gives a higher flow. Exactly. You also have remineralization. So you can add a remineralizing filter to your existing reverse osmosis system. So after it's done filtering everything out of the water, it can then go through one last, in this case, sixth filter to add the good minerals back in and to also raise the pH so it makes the water alkaline. I definitely encourage you to check out our Hume Water Saver 75 High Efficiency Reverse Osmosis Drinking Water System. I'll put a link in the description down below. So what are some frequently asked questions we get? How does it work? And like I said, Gary has a great video that goes into detail explaining exactly how it works. But in the case of the Water Saver 75, it goes through four filters and a membrane, and then it takes the, the filtered water and puts it into a little storage tank. And then when you open your faucet, the water is actually coming from that storage tank. It's not made immediately. So it does take some time to make the water. That's why there's a storage tank that comes with it. Gary does have uh, an installation video for the reverse osmosis systems as well, not just the water saver 75, yeah. but all reverse osmosis systems. You can also connect them to your fridge if you have a fridge that dispenses water and or makes ice. So you can actually tee off the reverse osmosis system and have the water go to your fridge as well, which is great. So when you're shopping for a reverse osmosis system, what should people be looking for? Again, the made in North America, you want to It's a sure. common theme. Yeah, it's a common theme, a non-proprietary reverse osmosis system. If you get something that's proprietary, again, you will only be able to get the filters through that brand, through that company. It really limits the availability, how quickly you can get the filters. In many cases, some companies go out of business and then you can't get them at all. It's definitely a huge point, especially with reverse osmosis systems. And the cost. Some of those yeah. proprietary ones oh out there, one filter is more expensive than all four of the filters yes. that go into the Water Saver 75. Yes. The size of the tubing of the reverse osmosis system, if it's a quarter inch tubing, 
then it will have a slower flow than the 3 8 uh, tubing, as we had mentioned. You always want to, again, look for support, whether that's in the form of uh, customer service, helpful videos, troubleshooting videos, things like that. Uh, that's also important to, to look for. What are some tips that you can share with folks? You want to replace the filters once a year. The membrane doesn't have to be replaced every year. No. That one can be replaced about every five years. Yeah. Um, but the, the other four filters, you want to replace them annually to always maintain quality drinking water. And it's super easy to maintain your own reverse osmosis drinking water system for your family. I've got a great YouTube video. I'll put a link in the description down below. Commonly, it's installed under the sink, mm -hmm. but you can, in some situations, install them in your basement if you have a basement. Yeah, that's where mine is. So as long as it's within 20 feet of distance from where you're going to have the faucet, which is most commonly at your kitchen sink, then you don't need a booster pump. So we've got another review here, and this is from Todd. And it's from February of this year, uh, Water Saver 75 reverse osmosis system. Ever since I ran across this store, it's been very satisfying. Gary and his team go over the top to help with every need, even with the hard times with COVID and dealing with shipping problems that was out of their control. They always kept you up to date when supplies were supposed to show up. And in the end, they still came uh, sooner than expected. His YouTube videos have all the info you need to install your system properly. Any questions I had about the install, he always emailed back in a very quick manner. Can't say enough good about his company. Will be a very long time customer in the years to come and we'll recommend to anybody that uh, has water needs. Well, thanks, Todd. I really appreciate uh, your comments. And if you're looking for more information about reverse osmosis drinking water systems, including our Hume Water Saver 75, go to our websites, watereastore.com in the US or watereastore.ca in Canada. We offer free shipping and discount pricing. Click here for your next video on reverse osmosis drinking water systems, and I'll see you there. Any questions or comments, add them down below.